On our journey to success in customer service or really any other field, any other endeavor, there are roadblocks that get in our way. And I want to highlight three that may be holding you back as you work on building your career. The first one is the Yabats. Yabats, that's an odd name, isn't it? Well, it came about when I went to pick up a friend of mine at the end of the day. He's a counselor, and so he works with people who have problems and tries to help them solve their problems. And when he got in my car, his eyes were red and his face was kind of ashen. I said, what's the matter? What happened? He says, oh, all day long I've been sitting in my office listening to the Yabats. I said, Yabats, what's that? He said, people come to me for advice, and I tell them what I think based on my years of experience and my extensive training, and they say, yeah, but that won't work. Or, yeah, but I've already tried that and that doesn't work. Or, yeah, but that's not right for this situation. The yeah, buts get in the way of our personal growth because we automatically reject, out of hand, ideas from somebody who can see things from outside our, our world. If somebody offers you an idea, maybe you've tried it before, maybe you haven't, but even if you have, think about it, and is it possible that maybe circumstances have changed or maybe you've changed and maybe it's worth reconsidering? And even if you don't think that things have changed, maybe by considering the idea, it will lead you to another idea that might be a solution for whatever the challenge is that's facing you. So be careful about the yeah buts. Be open to new ideas. Even be open to old ideas revisited. The second one is the they's. The they's is when we blame other people for our situations. And if you've ever used words like PEBCAC or the ID10T error or the picnic error, if you're not familiar with those, uh, ID10T, write it out on a piece of paper, you'll see what I mean. PICNIC is an acronym that stands for problem in chair, not in computer. And PEBCAC is problem exists between chair and keyboard. And if you've ever used words like that, we're really blaming our end users for the problems that they have. Now, there's no question that end users aren't as familiar with computers as you and I are, and so maybe they do some things that we think are not very bright, but the reality is the end user is an expert in whatever their field is, whether it's accounting or medicine or law or engineering, and we are the experts with computers, and we need to engineer systems that are foolproof. So if our end users are having problems with their systems, Maybe it's a reflection of some design flaws and maybe we need to rethink how we deploy systems, find ways to make them simpler, more foolproof. And the third roadblock is a belief that people skills are innate. And as we're working on customer service skills and building our people skills, it's easy to say, you know, some people are just born with people skills and that's just the way it is. And I believe that that's true. Some people are born with people skills. My granddaughter was born charming, but other babies are quiet. And, and so, yeah, I think that's true. But, this is an important but, people skills are simply beliefs and behaviors, and as such, they can be learned. So if you're struggling with people skills, if you're not getting the responses that you want from the people around you, start by looking in the mirror and say, you know, maybe I can learn other ways of dealing with people. Read books on people skills, like Dale Carnegie's landmark book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, or Stephen Covey's book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, and work on your people skills because they, again, are simply beliefs and behaviors, and they can be learned. For more ideas on how to improve communication and customer service skills, bring my one-day IT customer service training seminar on-site to your location for your group, small or large. Visit www.doncrawley.com for the course description and outline. Or pick up a copy of my IT customer service book, The Compassionate Geek, how engineers, IT pros, and other tech specialists can master human relations skills to deliver outstanding customer service, available in Kindle and paperback editions through Amazon and other resellers. As we're working to build successful careers in IT or frankly any other field, there are roadblocks that are gonna get in our way. A lot of those roadblocks are internal. They're points of view or attitudes that we may have, and a lot of times those points of view and attitudes can be shifted toward a more productive outcome. So if you've gotten caught up in the yeah buts, where you just dismiss people's ideas out of hand, in the they's where you blame everybody else for your problems, or the belief that people skills are innate, something you're born with, maybe rethink those, because it's possible to learn people skills to our own benefit. I'm Don Crawley, I'll see you next time.